G'day there guys, this video will come to you in six parts and it's a quick update of what I'll be up to in 2016. Part one is about teaching for the CPA. Now this semester I'll be teaching for PDL Academy which is the only training provider which is licensed to teach the CPA materials. CPA no longer do their own teaching, they've completely outsourced it and to PDL and PDL alone. I'll be taking some courses for GSL which is the Global Strategy Unit or the Capstone Unit for the CPA and I'll only be taking those here in Melbourne. On the upside I've decided to produce some videos which teaches some of the materials that are found in the GSL unit. Now if you're doing the CPA and you're not doing the GSL, I'm um, sorry I can't really help you this semester, but you know I hope to start producing more and more videos that are covering more and more of these areas. If you're interested in getting some tuition, have a look at the PDL website. You can find them on Facebook and hit like for their page. They're really good guys. I went through PDL when I was studying my CPA and really I found it extremely helpful. It's much better than just reading the book alone. Part two is a shout out to former students who are producing some pretty interesting video content. And they are Dagny and Venusia. Now Dagny's a pretty interesting guy. He finished his degree at Holmes Glen. He teaches chess over the web. He teaches uh, sports, kickboxing. Uh, he's just an all around nice guy as well. And he's currently trying to start up his singing career in a professional way. You should check out his video, which I will link in the description below. Venusia is also doing some interesting stuff and she's starting a makeup and beauty channel called the Inspired Channel. And I like it very much. I think she's got a lot of things to learn about YouTube, as do I of course as well, but I think it's really great to see people get out there and do something different. We lock ourselves into thinking that as accountants we must always wear ties and talk about debits and credits and we can't do anything interesting with our lives and that's just utter nonsense. These two particular people I find quite inspiring as well because they're quite interesting people and they're allowing their personalities to shine through. I think that these are the sort of people that we need in business and accounting more generally. Check them out, the links are in the description below. Part three is a secret project which I cannot talk about but I really, really, really wanna start making videos and I really wanna release them immediately. However, this leads to part four and that is I need help making videos. There are two things I actually need. Number one, I need help with script writing. I write scripts and I need someone to proofread them, please. And part two, I need somebody to basically play cameraman. Right now I'm talking to a tripod. If you're willing to come to my studio set and help me shoot some videos, that would be really really appreciated. Part five is talking about vlogs and other types of videos because I don't actually just do teaching alone. I've got this problem because on my main channel where it's mainly just about teaching uh, I'm getting a lot of hits. I've got over 100,000 hits and unfortunately I have stuff that doesn't really fit into accounting. For example this video which is mainly just a vlog. I'm not really sure whether I should put these on my main channel or whether I should put these on a secondary channel. At the moment they're all going on a secondary channel. There's a link to both of these channels in the description below. Now when I was talking to YouTube staff, their description about different YouTubers who do different things is that you shouldn't go and split up different channels, you should all have them on the same channel and just use playlists to try and separate out these videos. Mainly this is because it makes it easy on YouTube's algorithms. If you like somebody, you'll watch more and more of their videos and so YouTube likes to have these all on the same channel. Unfortunately, if you were to do different things like for example, some vlogs, maybe some education and maybe some game reviews, then that sort of thing would have to really be in different channels because if you came for the accounting education, you certainly wouldn't want to hear me talk about what I thought about certain games and why they meant anything to me. I think it's neat to put these on different channels, but the unfortunate thing is that the moment you stick them on different channels, then YouTube treats them as they're completely separate entities. And so if you liked one channel but not the other channel, then it wouldn't suggest it across. And so YouTube likes to have everybody have everything on the same channel and the algorithm will then suggest accordingly. But unfortunately, it also muddies the message a little bit. I'm not sure, what do you think is the best answer? Should I have these on separate channels or should I throw them all together and just use playlists to try and separate it out? I'm not really comfortable with either of these solutions. Part six of this video is a question on what you would like to see. Now, of course, I actually do a lot of different things. I don't just teach accounting. I would like to do more vlogs like I'm doing right now. I'd like to do some reflections on how I studied and how I found my career path. I'd like to talk about how I suffer from ADHD and what I have done to actually get around that. I've also thought about doing a whole bunch of different study tips. For example, how can you actually improve your grade? What do you need to study for an exam? And what does a teacher mean about, well, what is on the test and what isn't on the test? How to implement getting things done for students? And even where you can find textbooks on the internet for super cheap prices. 
I've thought about doing some more stuff on career tips, like for example, what's the difference between chartered accounting and CPA? What's it like to work for industry as opposed to working in public practice and how will I get my career ahead? And of course, how do you actually find that job in the first place? What does it take for an international student to be accepted in the accounting profession? These are all different topics that I've had kicking around in my head and I'd like you to vote now. Tell me which one of those topics sounds really interesting. Would you like me to talk about some self-reflections like a vlog style? Would you like to hear career tips or would you like to hear study tips? Should they be in the vlog channel or should they be in the main channel? Should I just keep the main channel? channel for teaching and accounting teaching alone. I'm not really sure about these things. Why don't you let me know in the comments below. Thanks very much for watching guys. I want to make 2016 pretty special and I hope that you do the same. Your feedback is in no small part extremely valued to me and I am in debt to you for having this conversation. Happy studies guys.